What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. We got it, somebody sent me in the mail somebody's control panel because apparently they can't get it to work. They also sent me their Pi. So we are gonna fix a customer's control panel. All to bad, somebody messaged me, Vic, I got an issue, I can't get the Pi to read my encoder and all that, so I said send it to me. Sure enough, we got it in the mail and I'll be honest guys, this is the first time ever I'm seeing this but you guys gotta be joking me with these Amazon buttons. These are horrendous. I can't believe it. I've seen people post pictures on like the forums and all that of them buying this kit. These buttons are atrocious. Are you serious? Like these feel horrible. I can't believe people are actually buying these things. But again, it's a $20, $30 kit, so I don't blame it. But, but geez, like, come on. They don't even click. They, I didn't even think that they were like a micro switch in them. Anyway, real quick, let's turn it over. Let's try to find out what's wrong with this. I did put it on the TV. None of his encoders are reading, and basically, um, it looks like the LED on the encoder keeps turning off. So off the bat, I did test it. That's his image. I plugged in his encoder. Um, didn't read it. It wouldn't even notice it as a gamepad, but I did notice that while this was plugged in, there's an LED on there's an LED on the encoder. It would actually blink when I press the button, so he might have a wire mixed up. Just take a look. I mean, again, it's not, I'm not calling myself a professional, but I get it, you know, it's a DIY kind of kit. Basically right now, this is too atrocious. I am just gonna wind up just pulling out each of these and rewiring it just to save the time because trying to figure it out, the LEDs don't light up. I've never personally used this encoder. I've never used these buttons, but I mean, really guys, like is this what you guys are buying like i can't even tell if this button's being clicked oh man this is just i don't know how i feel these buttons are just disappointing and i can't believe people are buying this because well it's a kit but there is no click compared to a, a game room solutions click this is not a click i'm gonna get a game room solutions button not even compared to an rk one up button I mean, there's no micro switch in this. Is this really going to click? At least RK one ups button actually had a micro switch to it. But I mean, come on. This is so jank. We're going to fix it though. Oh, all right, guys. So basically what we did was that we plugged everything in. When I plugged it in, LEDs didn't turn on. Guy didn't even have the USB really, the USB encoder connected right. Red is for your LEDs. He didn't even have any of them wired in, so there's one mistake, but this is a bad encoder. Um, easy get, Rayan. It wouldn't read his joysticks. No matter what you did, it wouldn't read the joysticks, so I thought the joysticks were bad, but it actually turns out the encoder is bad. So luckily I had a couple of extra encoders, so we swapped them out. What did I do with it? With this type of encoder, regular this one is no more junk garbage same thing again i mean he's got i can't even find out where his led wire starts but again we're just gonna fix it nice and easy let's first make sure the buttons work you have to make sure that whatever way you you wrote the encoder on this you have to do to player two this way they both work in sync um and that's it we're gonna keep going all right, guys, so then we're using Customer's Pi. So Street Fighter loaded up. Rewired new encoders. This is all looking good so far. Punches are good. Left, right, up, down. Up, down. And. There you go. One hand, I do again. <laughs> so far, so good. Starting select to exit out. This is good, we are set. All right guys, so we're gonna take a close look at these buttons that everybody gets on Amazon. Switched out the SD card with mine. We always program the next letter, as you can see real quick. So it makes it easier to search for games. As you can see, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. I wanna play some Street Fighter, so the best way is to go to T. I'll do Super Street Fighter for this one, Q, R, S, T. I'm gonna go up. To Super Street Fighter again this is the best way we do 
we do it in a way that we do the next letter. Let's just check out these 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 buttons, those guys. I'm I'm very shocked that you guys, or at least they offer these buttons. These buttons are just god awful. I mean, you can't even tell if you press the button. Also, real quick, I mean, be careful when you guys are making your control panels. As you can see, not too bad on the spacing on this one, but take a look at the spacing on this. If I could get the lighting. You guys want to be careful when you do line up your holes. As you can see, look at that. If I press down on the joystick, we're just barely missing the edge of that. As you can see there. Got to be careful. Always want to make sure your joysticks are centered, guys. Um, but real quick, loading up some Street Fighter. Again, it's just these buttons are just god-awful. People tell me that Game Room Solutions buttons are awful. I mean, please tell me you don't think this is good because I just can't figure this out. This is like, you can't even tell if the micro switch, I mean, I'm not even pressing it and it registers it. Like, I, you, this is, I don't like it, me personally. So now real quick again, you guys don't need the cover plate to make the admin buttons. Basically we have this set is that the select button is the hotkey, load and save buttons one and two. So check it out. We're gonna save this state. And as you can see, yellow wording appears. Save state. So if I do get beat up, let's say we go over here, I beat you up a little bit. I could now do select and reload. There's your load and save state right there. Again, no need for admin buttons. You could do it like that. Exit is select and start. That's it. Mo's control panel is set. Going back to Mo. Second, we are using customer's SD card. He sent me everything. He even sent me his Pi, which I'd rather you do that. Send me your Pi. This way you just plug it in. He is running a 32 gigabyte SD card on this. This card does not have a track mode on it. A couple of basics. Um, I don't know what, I wouldn't know how many uh, games there are. So um, instead of Mam Arcade, it's got the final burn alpha. Um, but at least right now the joysticks do work. Um, with this, he didn't give me the cover plate, the face plate, where we put the four admins. So what we're gonna do is that somebody messaged me, do you need the four admin buttons? No, we're just gonna basically set up like the save and the reload states on the joysticks itself. Basically, we're gonna set the select button to be the hotkey or the enable hotkey button. And then from there, we're just gonna use the shifts as that. On this one though, he did also send me, he bought the Z313 speakers. He did send me, I have them over there. He did send me the actual speaker itself. So we're gonna drill the panel for the speakers and in all honesty, this is set. This is ready to go. Again, okay, old encoders. The only reason I had my encoders was because I bought um, a Pandora's box kit and they had it. I, I, these, these are just atrocious. I really don't like these. These just are such a headache. I wouldn't even want to deal with these. But we got it fixed. We, over, we already got it wired up and it's ready to go. If I was going to do four player action, we, I would be able to use these with the Zinmo but I really don't like these. These are just really bad. Um, but other than that, I mean, there you go, we have it. Somebody sent us their control panel. You could see a little beat up, but you can't really do much on it. We're gonna take out the old speaker, put in his Z313 speaker, and that's it. This is ready to go. Quick video, guys. Again, if you need to, if you need help, you send me the control panel. I'll do everything. We are also giving him, I am gonna give him also a Game Case Arcades 128 gigabyte SD card. Um, I really appreciate everybody that watches the videos. They do send me some tips. Um, I just sold one to Jorge. Uh, he actually had a PS3, wireless PS3 controller one. He just messaged me saying that the Sega 32X NBA Jam is an issue with that. So I'll test it out, I'll look at it. Again, you got a Q minus 15,000 games. I don't test all 15,000 games, obviously. Nobody does, but sorry for the hiccups, but we'll try to fix it and everything. For right now, that is it. At least again, I'm gonna send him his SD card so he could use it. I have no use for 32 gigabyte SD cards, but I don't know where he got the image from, but he's got an image and he'll be able to use it. And that's it. That's it guys, another Game Case Arcades video. Send me your RK one-up control panels. I will fix them and we'll bring it back to life.